Welcome to this Valencia Photography Workshops tutorial. In this one, I'll show you how to get a JPEG file into the latest version of Adobe Camera Raw inside Photoshop CC. First of all, what is a JPEG? It's a processed image file. So what a lot of the settings have already been made and embedded if you like into the file it's the opposite of a raw file which basically is like the negative um, in a film now adobe camera raw is a very powerful piece of editing software not unlike the develop module in lightroom some people prefer to use lightroom some people prefer to use adobe camera raw at one time it was only possible to use Adobe Camera Raw with raw files on process files, but that's changed. And so I'm going to show you how to get the, the benefits of a raw file editing with a JPEG. So here we are in Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is find the JPEG file that I want to use in Photoshop. So I'm just going to open it straight into Photoshop. We'll use this file. It's a JPEG file with some editing done to it. Um, how you used to get into Adobe Camera Raw with the JPEG has changed. And so in, in Photoshop um, CC now, it's slightly different. First thing we need to do is open the layers panel or make sure that you have it open and you can see the we've got the the background layer showing there. Right click on it and convert it to a smart object. So we've now converted this to layer zero um, you can name, rename that if you like. JPEG ACR or whatever you want, JPEG to Adobe Camera Raw. And then go into the filter menu and find Camera Raw Filter. Click that and this will convert the, the image and open the Adobe Camera Raw window. I like to see it more clearly and you can, if, if it was closed, you can toggle the full screen window. <clears throat> and there you are. Now on the right hand side now, you've got um, a series of sliders um, and other panels that are closed, if this is your first time in using it, which is not unlike the develop module in Lightroom. So, for example, we might make some changes. I'm going to soften the clarity a little bit, um, play around with the exposure, but you know, I'm do whatever changes you want to make and you'll find you can make you know a lot more changes here than you would perhaps in the main Photoshop um, program itself. Once all your changes are made hit OK and that brings your process file or reprocess file in this case back into Photoshop then if it's finished go into layer and flatten image and then you're back to the background layer that's just a very quick overview of how to get your jpeg file into adobe camera raw for further editing in future videos i'll look at adobe camera raw in more detail and compare it with Lightroom.